when I read it, I didn't put it together yeah. that it was kind of insulting to you. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? This is Sam the Dapper Tiger here, and today we're gonna do a little vlogging action. Um, we're out. We gotta take our baby to his first appointment. We got Mrs. Dapper Tiger back here trying to sell me on buying more baby clothes that we already have a lot of. But they don't, we don't have dino shorts. But we don't have dino shorts. Anyways, so besides taking the baby to appointment, I'm actually close to Craigslist Hunter's favorite thrift store. So today, I don't really have a reason to thrift. I got plenty of stuff to list. But for you, you and only you, today, I'm gonna try and see what I could pick up and do a little mini self-imposed $20 challenge. So let's see what I can get inside. Um, hopefully I'll find something great. If Wait. not. His favorite place is Heroes Lost. His favorite place is the thrift community. You have to interrupt me while I'm in the middle of filming. Oh, come on, man. What is that? What is that all about? So follow me inside. <clears throat> let's see what we can find for 20 bucks and uh, let's see if we can make this challenge happen. I need you guys to settle a score right now between uh, me and the missus. She thinks that this onesie, uh, cuter version of dad is funny. I don't think so. Look at this baby. He's so cute. I think he totally is a cuter version of his dad. I didn't, you know what? I, I, when I read it, I didn't put it together yeah. that it was kind of insulting to Bruh. me. <laughs> I actually thought it was just supposed to be like, oh, it's like dad's mini me shirt. And then I put together what it meant. And then now that's just rude. Like, I know. <laughs> I just put it together in just baby brain, okay? I just can't. Well, you tell me what you think down in the comments below. I know I probably already lost this baby. You guys are a bunch of traitors. <laughs> Tiny but Tiny but mighty. It's a little uh, triceratops. Oh, the triceratops makes it for me. Yeah, and the color is perfect. It's his favorite. We're shopping on the Children's Place, which is a child's uh, clothing store. They are liquidating a third of their stores. I don't know, but everything is 60 to 80% off. 80, everything is 60 to so 80% off. So that's browse. But honestly, like, the prices are still comparable to Wednesday. Eventually, I'll get to this thrift store. You're just seeing us bored in the car and uh, rambling. Mm. I don't know how much is this is going to make it into the actual video, but I hope you get a good kick out of our diatribe. I'm bored, sitting here watching Becky Park. She uh, just did a video on how to use social media as a reseller. Definitely awesome video so far. Check it out if you're a reseller on YouTube and you need a little more info on how to kind of promote your store and uh, boost your sales. Becky Park is a wonderful research. Definitely check her out. I'll put a link to her channel in the description below. Baby cam. Oh, it's the baby cam. I'm just gonna walk around in a circle. Whoa, don't like that. How are you feeling? Everybody's asking, how are you feeling? Good. That, that's, that's, just all you, that's all you got to tell the world? You're, you're just good? Yeah. I feel very fulfilled as a mother. I'm doing a good job. You are. High five. You are so needy. I'm just, I'm just kidding. He's not. He's actually really awesome. You guys want to see the coolest Transformer baby carriage? It's going to happen right now. Look at this. First, we got carriage. Now we got cars. Shrink the handle down. Boop, 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 boop. Like a glove. Boom. More than meets the eye. Let's go thrifting. Community thrift store. Here we go. Trust all Face mask. All right, starting the day off with 50% tag sales. I like to start off by going down the shoe aisle. First section is women's shoes. The first pair you'll see me pick up are these pair of Nautica shoes, 375 with 50% off. Another pair of these Sockonies, they look decent, 575, 50% off. I love picking up Vans, so I had to pick these up as well. I saw these Asics, but they're $14.95. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my cart and think about them, but it's way over budget. Next, I'm going over to the men's shoes section. Nothing spectacular. Look at the sole, it's pretty gross, yuck. Conveniently, the hats are right next to the men's shoes, so you know I gotta look at some hats. I found this neat CCM hat that I'm thinking about getting. Coming over here and just checking out more of the hats. Nothing spectacular. A couple sports teams. Uh, 
Uh, there's a gun company that I was looking at, but I decided not to take it. And I was specifically focusing on stuff that was on sale today. Usually I just go straight, that's exactly where the electronics are, but I'm gonna make a left because I just remembered that I need to pick up stuff for the baby. So Christina asked me to look at some hats and I just discovered these kids bands, so scoop. These guys are packed full of stuff. Typically, the aisles are not this tight or dense. I always like to look through vinyls just for my own collection. So here I am patiently waiting to go in the back. This is usually where they keep the golf clubs. So it's tight. Look at all the stuff that they haven't even processed yet that have been donated to them. Okay, I struck out no golf clubs. So we're gonna go back and look at the electronics. I'm looking for small stuff, especially video game related. And when you know, I come across this PS1 multi-tap controller expander. As I come across here, what else do I find? Boom, Guitar Hero controller. Bummer is there's no way to test it, but the price looks good. In the cart it goes. There's really nothing to write home about as I look over some of these electronics. Some of it is just big and bulky, nothing spectacular. I'm gonna dig through this bin here. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a graphing calculator. If I had time, I would check the remotes as well, but I didn't feel like it. Okay, now to do the responsible thing that every reseller should do is look up the item that you put in your cart and compare it um, to what's sold, uh, otherwise known as comping. But I soon realized I have no internet connection in this oh, place. Come on, man. So let's move on to my favorite section, DVDs and video games. So they are currently running a four DVD for $1 special. I'm browsing through here, but nothing really jumps out. Here are some golf clubs as well as some skis, but nothing great. I found a box of cameras. Again, nothing spectacular in here, so I just left it all behind. I did happen to stumble upon a PS2 version of DDR Extreme 2. This looks like it's in pretty good shape, so I'm gonna take this. It's pretty disappointing. It's really the only game that I could find that was worthwhile. I found this portable DVD player, but they wanted twenty nine dollars for it. No, thank you. So I'm pretty disappointed. I'm about to leave until I spot this rack of DVDs and video games that has not been stocked yet. You better believe that I stocked this young lady and waited for her to stock all the video games and DVDs. Do you know if um, the games are part of that four, four for a dollar deal? Yeah, everything under the game. Okay, awesome, thank you. Back inside, I'm gonna go look for more games. I found two more PlayStation 2 games that were worth picking up. All right, let's take one last glance. Again, still nothing is jumping out at me, so let's get out of here. I'm gonna go through my cart and see what's worthwhile picking up, what's in budget and what's not. Okay. So I actually Sorry, put back the first three pairs of shoes that I picked up. They are actually not within the 50% tag sale, so I got rid of it. All right, let's check out and bring all our stuff back to the car so I can check on baby and mama. I was able to stay under that mask is not mustache friendly. I was able to stay under 20 bucks. The grand total is $18.54. <coughs> Bless you. All right guys, we're back at the apartment. I wanna just go through and show you guys what I got. We're gonna do this haul review together, so uh, don't, don't mind him. You might get some uh, extra baby noises. So first off is this Guitar Hero controller for the PS2. I literally just plugged it in. I happen to have a copy of Guitar Hero. I haven't sold it yet, so I tested it. This all works except for this whammy bar. So I'm gonna have to open this guy back up and fix it. I can probably fix it with just a couple rubber bands, but should be a straightforward fix and I'll test it again. I paid $3.75 for this. It's getting kinda, it's getting kinda hungry. 
I'm sorry. I think I have to feed him and then come back to this. I'm sorry, I'll be back. I lied. He was just uh, getting kind of cranky because he's uh, tired. It's been a long day for him. So we're just gonna let him sleep and keep breezing through the stuff that we got. I was able to buy this for three seventy five. dollars uh, I did not get a discount on this because this was considered an orange tag, not a blue and a pink, but that's okay. Um, after fees and selling it, I think it can list it for 25 bucks plus shipping. Uh, so this should net me $25. Next up, we got these two hats. Got this Walt Disney hat and this CCM trucker hat. I'm gonna try and flatten out this bill. If you haven't seen it already, I'm gonna go ahead and link in the description below, uh, Chernock Connections, how to clean a hat video. If you like to sell hats or you're interested in selling hats, I would definitely check his channel out. He is a wonderful resource for um, restoring hats and basically how to value hats. Next up is a Sony PlayStation uh, controller expander. So I picked this up for 275. It was a pink tag, so it was half off of this. So I got this for what, a dollar thirty eight give or take a penny and this should be a nice 20 30 dollar profit next i saw these kids vans these were in great shape they're off the wall you lost a little bit of uh the label on the back over here but the treads look great they just need a little cleaning so these were i picked these up they were 575 uh they were pink tag so half of that is two dollars and 87 cents all right next i got these pairs of teal vans these are even even better shape the off the wall label is great on the back got laces the treads look fantastic we just need to do a little cleaning on the sides and see what we can do about the fabric over here. A little extra strength OxyClean should take care of that. Uh, soles are in really good shape. I also make sure that I try and pinch. Whenever I check shoes like this, especially like Converse shoes, uh, make sure you pinch over by the laces to make sure you don't see any separation from the rubber where it meets the cloth. I picked up these three video games. They were running a special, it was a three, they were basically 25 cents a piece. They're not anything spectacular, but you figure I'll, I'll net about 10 to $15 per game on here. Uh, the games themselves, like Gran Turismo, is in pretty decent shape, but I'm gonna have to put this through the resurfacer. Grand total 1854. So you figure with all of this stuff for under $20, I should be able to net up to $100 for all of this stuff. So here's a quick way to turn 20 bucks into a hundred dollars reselling has given us a path to provide a little bit more for our little one and our growing family so i hope it helps you i hope i brought you guys value today so please consider hitting the like button if i did drop a comment down below and be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be up to date on the latest videos that i'm putting out until next time peace hey bye